Chris Stops Porzingis and the Dallas Mavericks hosting his former team, the New York Knickerbockers. Out the gate, it was Porzingis showing out versus his former team, accompanied by Luka with the sick ball fake. Luka had been struggling as of late. He got it going in this game. Just get silly on Julius Randle. Then we got more Porzingis. This dude acts like a guard on the perimeter, but he's 7'3". Now Luka, 38 points, 14 rebounds, 10 assists for Doncic, the NBA's next superstar. Third quarter we go, it's Doncic for three. Mavericks trailing though, they're down four. Let's keep this thing moving to the fourth quarter. Knicks up two. Porzing is down the lane and he scores. Tie game at 87. Mavs up three now. It's Frank Nelikenya for three. He's in that starting role looking pretty good now. It's Frank. A deuce. He had 14 for the game. Marcus Morris. He had a season high 29. So you got Porzingis with 28, 29 for Morris. Great matchups all over the court. And you got Julius Randle for the Knicks with the basket. He had 21 and 9 boards. Good game to watch. Fourth quarter we go. 103-99. The Mavs fail to get a rebound and they got a foul. Unfortunately for Porzingis, he's going to foul out versus his former team. Can the Mavs rally without one of their top guys? Tim Hardaway Jr. saying, yes, we can. He drills the three to get it down to a three-point game. Now, all the Mavs have to do is make free throws, and they win. But Todd Gibson would miss the first and miss the second. Mavs have a chance to tie with 20 seconds to go. You know they're going to Luka. He pulls up from the logo. It's no good. The Knicks would then make a free throw, and they hold on to win in Dallas, 106-102. to 102. You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage, feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden and 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.